Now, like the general capabilities, the cross-curriculum priorities are also taught by all learning areas, by all teachers. And they represent the third of our parallel curriculum. So we have the learning areas, of which digital technologies is one. We have the general capabilities and we have the cross-curriculum priorities. Now, these are specific areas of emphasis that's been decided that um, the curriculum needs to focus on across the curriculum. So being taught through all of the learning areas. Now, there's three of them. The first is sustainability, and this probably has the most direct relevance to digital technologies and the technologies learning area as a whole, because some of the um, concepts being taught around sustainability very much mirror some of the fundamental concepts in digital technologies or in the technologies learning area, particularly the thinking skills. So we have systems thinking in particular being an important aspect of the sustainability um, cross-curriculum priority. Um, so there are a range of different approaches that we want to engage students with the concept of a sustainable future, where in particular around environmental sustainability, but there are a whole range of other aspects of sustainability that can be explored as part of this particular cross-curriculum priority. Then we have two other cross-curriculum priorities. The first is Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander um, histories and cultures, looking at the long history and traditions of our Indigenous um, population and the aspects that they bring to understanding technology, but also knowledge. Um, they have different approaches historically to um, encapsulating and sharing and replicating knowledge than we often have in the West, which have been the predominant model that we've relied upon for developing digital technologies. So there are things that can be learnt and explored in how Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders have historically engaged with knowledge and knowledge transmission and sharing through song lines and stories and uh, corroborees and songs and a whole range of other approaches. Now you can also look at the current uses of digital technologies by Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders, particularly in um, uh, capturing the historical uh, nature of languages, which in many cases are dying out, but we can use digital technologies to capture the stories and the languages that um, are still being used. So if they do stop being used, we still have a digital record of those. And there's been a number of projects around that with digital technologies. There's also quite a bit of work being done around virtual reality and trying to um, simulate what it would have been like to live in pre-colonial Aboriginal times um, and the various storylines and cultures that can be uh, embodied within a virtual space. And then finally we have the um, Asia and Australia's engagement with Asia as a cross-curriculum priority. And this looks at the, in particular, the East Asian and South Asian engagement with technology, um, which is, can be somewhat different to a more traditional Western engagement with technologies and digital technologies. So how digital technologies are being incorporated into Indian culture, for example, or into China, or South Korea, Japan, Taiwan, uh, Singapore. There's, there's a range of different um, near neighbor countries that are very much embracing and engaging with technologies and digital technologies, sometimes in slightly different ways to how we're engaging with them in the West or in Australia. So these represent the cross-curriculum priorities. And again, they're taught through the content descriptors of the um, learning areas. So you don't teach them as individual subjects. They're taught in conjunction with the learning areas and with the general capabilities and represent that third, um, a third parallel curriculum approach to providing students with a rich curriculum that supports their learning.